If you're serious about animating in Daz Studio, there are three plugins that you really need to get. Graphmate, Keymate, and Animate. In this tutorial, we're going to give an overview of Animate. So I have Animate 2 installed, but every download of Daz Studio comes with Animate Lite, so you should be able to follow along using that. So we're providing an Ana block called Sultry Walk for anyone who wants to follow along with this tutorial. It's free and we'll provide a link to it in the description below. So let's bring up Animate. And you can see that our Genesis 3 female is automatically populated right here. And in later tutorials, we're gonna be going over the interface and showing what everything does. But for now, we're just going to be showing you how to apply an Ana block. So let's find Sultry Walk by clicking right here and in this search bar just putting in and you can see it comes up right here so mouse over that and you can see our Genesis 3 character automatically starts going through that animation so what you want to do is click and drag it right up here onto the timeline and hit play and you can see her going through that animation she'll just cycle through that it looks good very sultry so if you want the animation to continue, let's pull up a couple more of those blocks and just line them up to the one in front of it. And this right here is where the playhead will repeat itself. So what I usually do, just right click on that and do auto adjust and it'll automatically put it to the end there. So let's hit play and you'll notice she keeps walking off into the distance. So I'm gonna switch to the front view you can see how seamless those transitions are between the Ana blocks. That looks great, but this isn't a perfect animation. Her arms and hands are kind of stiff. Her face is kind of lifeless, and there are things we can do to improve this. So stay tuned, and we're going to go over how to fix this in future tutorials.